Abby, let this be a lesson to you. This was not daddy's idea. This was all mommy. So uh, when you get older, tell mommy you don't like apple picking, okay? Deal? Deal? Give me pounds. All right, deal. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're watching. Thank you for joining us. As you can see behind me, I'm standing in an apple orchard, which can only mean one thing. We are doing one of the only family fall activities that the fun parent cannot stand to do, and that is any kind of picking of my own produce. Um, today we are out at Masker's Orchard in Warwick, New York, and I'm hoping that Masker's is gonna turn my, turn my, uh, my frown upside down and make this a little bit of an enjoyable experience for me. So let's hit the orchards and uh, Hopefully uh, be done with this as quickly as humanly possible. Well, maskers at least lets you drive around the orchard so you're not stuck walking miles through apple orchards trying to pick apples that no one's gonna eat. You're gonna end up throwing out anyway, but. I'm not throwing apples out. I'm gonna make pies. We'll see. I a guarantee we throw out at least 10 apples that we buy today. I'm gonna eat. Um, while we're making our way up to where the apples that Court wants to pick are, um, it's forty dollars per bag and a minimum of one bag per car. So you're you're on the hook for at least forty bucks if you come to Maskers. Um, they do have a wide variety of different apples. It is a rather large orchard, and I will say that if I'm going to go apple picking, being able to just drive from place to place is probably a much better way of doing it than being stuck um, walking through the different orchards. We've made it to parking lot four, which apparently is where the apples that our family likes are. What kind of apples do we like? Yellow and green. Yellow and green. Those are like all the way. Up. And none of those are in the section, so we now made it all the way out of parking lot four, and that's not where the apples are we want. And yeah, daddy, but they're all and that daddy, way. And daddy is very mad about going apple picking. You got that right, kid. On another note, I got a little bit of a hitchhiker here. Say hi, Abs. We figured this was easier than uh, trying to navigate a stroller through this orchard. Um, but yeah, we're walking. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll find some apples sooner than later and get this show over with. Wow, you certainly have a beautiful smile. This is also one of the other things that's interesting about this orchard is people set up and have like full on picnics in here. We didn't think to do that though. We came completely unprepared for this. How's the apple court? Does it taste like an apple? Is the apple good? It's the best apple I've ever had. I don't know what we're looking at here, but somebody made some kind somebody of a had time. <laughs> somebody had made some kind of a, a thing here. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at, but it's a thing. And now we're just wandering further and further away from the car. Look at them all the way over there. We're like we're like a quarter mile from the car right now, and they're walking walking further and further away from it. <sighs> Abby, let this be a lesson to you. This was not Daddy's idea. This was all Mommy. So, uh, when you get older, tell mommy you don't like apple picking, okay? Deal? Deal? Give me pounds. All right, deal. Hey, did you guys fill your bags yet? Not yet. Let's speed this process up here. I will give them this. When you're up here, the view is fantastic. Look at that view. It's about the only thing I'm enjoying out of this whole experience so far. Court just found a uh, cluster of apples high up in this tree here, and she said, oh, those look really red. Cl start climbing, Court. Start climbing. You can do it. Okay, I'm coming. I can't get these. Yep, she gave up already. Do you guys know where all the apples are at the right height where you don't have to reach for them? In the back? The grocery store. Here it is. Maybe right here. <laughs> I mean, I might as well eat apples. I'm going to be... In an apple orchard, this apple has absolutely no flavor. No? Not one. It, it tastes like I'm eating water. We just entered into uh, the red delicious section. They're yellow. They're all just. All but apparently, delicious. people really like red delicious apples because there's none in the trees. They're deli They're yellow. Oh, let me have that. Right here. Hey, look. That's a good one. Over there, right. there's a good one. We got a yellow delicious here. Oh, watch that one. It is delicious. Oh, Nick found them. Oh, you want me to lift you up? Go to the next one. You want to climb it? Oh, wow. Becca, could you hold this so I can pick them up? 
Oh, Nick actually, found a remember, Nick babe. found a tree with a lot of yellow delicious on Ready? here. You want a bite? I found a good one. All right. Wait, camera on my Where are we going, one, Court? Right here. Right here. This What's is right here? Right. Where are we headed here? Empire and Cortland. Do you even know what that means? Yes. Apparently, Empire and Cortland are the apples we need. They're expensive at the grocery store. I usually don't get them. Oh, okay. That's why I don't know what they are. Yeah. I'll say this much. It's at least a nice day out. It's like 70 degrees. It's sunny. Nice little breeze blowing. I'm not sweating. But uh, those bags are not filling up quick enough for my taste. All right, let's go to the Empire. We're, uh, I think we're supposed to be apple picking today, right? Not, not just staring at trees. Why don't you find trees that have donut. spots of red in them? That's how you're going to tell where the apples are. Is your apple good, Abby? Huh? Is that a good apple? She's just chomping away over here. Oh. Look, all right here. This is all poison ivy right here. You just walked right through it. I did. Look, all of this red here. So I will highlight, Look there is me. poison ivy everywhere in here. Everywhere. So if you are highly allergic to poison ivy, I would suggest wearing long pants and boots when you come in here. And uh, be mindful, because it is, is okay? everywhere. Is this okay for me? You better hope you don't get poison ivy, Kaylee. Kaylee You're stepping right in it. Oh, Court found some low-hanging fruit here, literally. Nick, literal low-hanging fruit. Yeah. See? To be clear, it's not just Masker's fault. There's going to be poison ivy in any apple orchard you go into. It's just a mind, just being mindful and looking out for it. That's the most important thing. Stubbs, you better slow down on filling that bag up. Your wife is getting nervous. Not my idea. <laughs> Good point. Good point, Stubbs. I like the way you think. I've uh, totally lost track of how far away we are from the car at this point. We're now walking uphill. Um, I've still got a baby on my back, so that, that's still a thing. So the, the bag actually has a map on it, so you can see kind we're of where here. you are. We have to go here to the right, back right. So we're walking real far away from the car, huh? Yeah. Can we put her on my back? No. We're now making our way to the, to the Granny Smith apples, so Court can make some apple pies. Are you waving? Hi! <laughs> Cos bag is only like a quarter full right now. Big orchard Coming up on a major intersection here, it looks like. Major intersection here. We're uh, we're trusting Court on the navigation here. Come on, Nick. It is a nice view, though. I'll say that much. It is a nice view. They've also got signs on all the trees telling you what kind of apples are in here and if they're ripe yet or not. That's pretty cool. At least you're not wasting time walking through and finding out you can't pick them. You are going to have apples on your apple orchard tour, right? I don't see any Granny Smiths. Did we walk all the way up here for nothing? Nope. They're here somewhere. Keep finding them, Court. Give a shot when you find them. I'll be right here. The... I'll say this. Watching my wife take charge of something for the first time ever, it's been kind of cool. She's telling people where to go. Spread out. We're going to hunt them down. If she accomplishes this mission, I'm going to be impressed. The wheels are coming off quick here, guys. The wheels are coming off quick. Michelle's sweating. Nick's legs are tired. Kaylee has had enough. How did I know this was going to happen on an apple orchard day? Ooh, she's, she's stomping through. She just stomped through. Kaylee just came through as if I told her she was grounded. And Court's yelling at everybody. Court is just just telling everybody, you, you, go this way now. Even though the car is that way, we're going this way. Well, the silver lining to this whole thing right now is we're actually making our way back downhill. We never found those Granny Smiths, though. So when we talk about Court taking a leadership role and really, like, driving a team towards a common goal, she failed miserably when it comes to the Granny Smiths. Just put, let's make a note of that. She's still working on it though. She's showing the map. She's saying there's more down here. She's saying there's more down yeah, here. Yeah, and then we're gonna go back uphill. Kaylee, remember when you were like, oh, it's family time. You should be smiling and having fun, remember? Ha <laughs> ha! Now you understand. Mom said at home. Well, we found some Granny Smiths, but apparently they're all on the ground. Climb up in the trees and see if you can shake any out. Well, there's a lot of walking for nothing. Hey, Court, I think I saw on a map earlier today that ShopRite had Granny Smiths on sale this week. <laughs> yeah, well, when we asked for the Granny Smith, Bobby said ShopRite second shelf. There you go. I agree. I think Bet just stumbled upon Granny Smith. Is that Granny Smith, Bet? 
See what happens? Grandma took charge and look what happened. We found the Granny Smiths. Now are there any in the trees is the million dollar question. So uh, apparently the Granny Smiths are some of the first apples that are ripe and there's none left in the trees. This has been about 50% of our expedition today has been hunting down apples that no longer exist. I feel like a paleontologist. Well, Nick's done. Nick's done. done. Kaylee's done. Kaz only got a quarter bag of apples there. Maybe just pour Kaz apples into your bag and then we'll have one full bag and then we'll save some money. Yay. Look at that. No, no, Granny Smith. Stubbs has a full bag for Michelle's car. Ka can pour her apples into our bag. That gives us a full bag as well. Simple math here. We're making our way back down now. As you can see, there is a plenty wide, large area to cover here. What do you see, Abs, huh? Oh, you see Mommy? Yeah, Mommy's up there. But uh, we're gonna go fill up the rest of the bags with Macintosh. I tried to convince Ka just to put her apples in our bag because she's in Michelle's car and Stubbs has a full bag of apples already, so realistically we could just do that and then be done apple cider and donuts isn't coming quick enough are you eating another apple abs you have another one nice kaylee abby and myself are back in the car now going to pick up nick and court um, and then we're going to make our way down to where the store is i think there's a store here i feel like they have to have a store right i really hope so hey i got you oh my god it's hot, huh? Hot, I couldn't carry the bag. Well, you wanted to come apple picking. That's what she gets. Making our way down the hill towards the exit here. Abs, we got plenty of apple picking. There better be a little store to buy apple cider donuts. Yes, there is. I don't remember if there was, was there? Food trucks, too. Food trucks, oh, I remember now. We've made it down to the family fun area. So we had been here before and I forgot about this. Door. There's like Nick, food trucks and stuff for kids to do. So we're gonna go do all that stuff now. Um, and then on the way out, we're gonna pay for our apples, but I think I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat some food. I'm, I'm, I'm really hungry right now. So they have food options of barbecue. You can get ribs, you can get pulled pork, you can get a burger. They also have a hot dog stand here selling hot dogs. And they also have a snack shack with pizza, pie, and ice cream. So we're, uh, we're just getting donuts and um, kids want soda. I don't know if they have soda, so we're going to see. If not, we're going to stop somewhere on the way home and get them a soda to shut them up. We have here. Look at Abby losing her mind over these donuts. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Get it. Nummy nummies. How is it, Abs? Is it good? Yeah? I just had a donut shoved in my mouth. It's really good. I think Abby's, uh, Abby's making her way down to go see some animals. She loves the animals. And, oh, look at that photo op right there. Look at Nick sticking his face in. That's one ugly looking sheep. They've got, uh, they've got actual horses here. You can go on a horse ride. They've also got some smaller ponies for the little kids as well. There's a small petting zoo down here. Um, but yeah, this is the this is basically the gist. That's a, there's a little a little uh, hay ride, I guess you can call it, with with the horse drawn carriage. That's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so this is basically the family fun area here. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. The goat was trying to uh, the goat was trying to butt the the dog in the head. That's awesome. Last stop on the uh, Masker's tour is going to be the country store. We're going to go check in and see what they have inside. My guess it's going to be already picked produce. Could have saved us a lot of time today. A whole bunch of jarred goods here from Masker's themselves. I wonder if they're actually from here or they have a company that does them, but they've got a ton of different preserves. Ooh, they have caramel apple scone mix here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They've also got a collection of barbecue sauces, Sweet Carolina, ooh, Vidalia onion steak sauce, mmm. Pickles with a kick, garlic and herb hot sauce. Ooh, look at that horseradish mustard. Oh, yeah. Apple-shaped pasta. Look at that. Apple-shaped pasta, Kaylee. Oh, they don't even look like apples. What is this? They look like little apples. No. 
I mean, let's be honest. Do, do farmers really have time to watch movies where they actually have farmers movie night popcorn? Ooh, look at that. Three added flavors. Cheesy cheddar, movie theater butter, and chocolate drizzle. Ooh. There it is right there. Uh, we could have just gotten prime rib, Macintosh, Granny Smith, or Cortland apples right here and not had to go walking around in a uh, orchard for the past two hours. Great. Yeah, we're, uh, we're back in the car. We're heading out. So overall, what was Maskers like? I would say, did Maskers completely change my view on apple picking forever? Nope. But I will say that it was probably a more enjoyable experience than I would have had Go apple ahead. picking at some other places. So if you are into apple picking, this could be your next favorite place to go apple picking. For me, I don't like apple picking and I'm never it. going to. I got right. What are you going to rate it? Okay. 2.0 out of 5 stars. 2 out of 5, that's it? Um, yeah. Compared to other in general or compared to apple picking places? Mommy. Apple picking. Where where have you gone apple picking that you liked better than this? Everything's a two. Every apple picking. <laughs> Makes no sense. Anyway, don't listen to her. Um, Maskers was great. I had a good time, kind of. I could have the best time I could have apple picking. And with that being said, son. Kaylee, you look like you're having a ball. Shut your mouth. <laughs>